So let's jump into why this happens and I'm gonna to talk to you about fasting. So even during fasting, your liver is consciously, sorry, continuously making bile. So that's its job. It doesn't care whether you're eating or not, it's continuously making it. And it secretes it into the gallbladder, which is sort of the holding station for bile. But if you're not eating, uh, bile tends to concentrate more over time because it's, it's not being excreted. So while it's sort of concentrating, it's also stagnating, it's thickening. And so that can then uh, create gallbladder sludge and later on gallstones. So it's kind of like you can think of eating some fat as exercising your gallbladder. Because what happens is there is a hormone that when you eat fat, it triggers this hormone, it's called CCK, to cause the gallbladder to contract and secrete some bile. But without that stimulation to the hormone, in other words, without fat coming into your diet and stimulating that hormone to work, uh, the other thing that happens is bile flow decreases because it's kind of a, a use it or lose it type of phenomena where the brain says, oh, well, I guess no, no fat's coming in. We don't, we don't need to, you know, we don't need to secrete bile. And then th what happens is after the fast, because now the bile level has gone down, then you try to eat regularly and you, you have problems digesting fat because the, the bile level isn't up to what it should be. So it's kind of two ways this goes. One is that bile is concentrating um, while you're not eating and getting sludgy. And then the other facet of this is that the hormone is not telling your body to produce it for the, for the gallbladder to secrete bile. And then over time, your, your entire level goes down. So there's, there's two mechanisms at play here, but neither one of them is normal, which is the point I want to make. 